The real icon, the hallmark of one of the most famous fashion houses in the world, the epitome of class and elegance, yet still very trendy, and most of all, the real lady. Lady Dior. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia and in today's video I'm gonna show you what I carry in my Lady Dior. Before we start, I wanna mention that in this video I'm partnering with Ana Luisa, the very trendy jewelry brand. Recently, I had been asked to become their official brand ambassador and I'm very happy about it. Ana Luisa is a brand that is eco-friendly, it's like a cautious luxury. They have exceptional quality. All their pieces are plated with 14 karat gold, as well as they have free express shipping and all their prices starts at $39. As their brand ambassador, I will have a pleasure to keep showing you their newest pieces throughout the upcoming year. The set that I'm wearing today, it's a set of bracelet, earrings and a necklace. They're all being sold separately, but you can get all of them and wear it as a set as I'm wearing now. All three pieces can be worn separately, but what ties them together for me is the fact that they have a very dainty, beautiful chain and the circular motif. The bracelet and the necklace has adjustable closure and the earrings, apart from just a circle here, they have a little sparkly something. Click the link in the description box below and get 20% off with their summer sale. Now onto the bag. This bag has been around for decades. It has been worn by the most famous women in the globe, starting from first ladies through celebrities, actresses and the most popular it girls. I'm not going to go through the whole history of the bag because there are tons of reviews on YouTube and probably everyone who is interested in bags even slightly has heard about the story of Lady Dior bag as well as uh, its rich history. It is a true masterpiece. It features all the hallmark of a Dior brand. Uh, it has a nice structure to it. It's almost like architectural. Despite being so long on the market and uh, despite ever-changing, super fast-changing fashion industry and all the trends from season to season, it remained untouched, like the real lady. It has a very classic, timeless design. Nowadays it comes in an array of colors. Uh, this one is a lambskin. It also comes in a fabric. It is Delight. That's Delight is a version of Lady Dior which comes in a fabric, soft fabric. Other than this, as I said, array of colors, four sizes, now five, but I'll get to it. Mini, small, also called My Lady Dior, medium and large. And just recently Dior released a micro Lady Dior. I've seen the pictures. It looks really, really cute. However, I don't think it even holds a phone, so it's just like a, a nice accessory that it is, however, tad bit impractical. Maybe just um, an accessory to finish off the outfit, like a nice piece of jewelry, and maybe to hold um, a credit card and a lipstick. This one, as I said, is in a lambskin. It's size small, which is um, My Lady Dior, and it comes from ABC line, which means it has a feature that allows to add letters or lucky charms. A three comes uh, with the bag, with the price of the bag. If you want one more, it costs 50 euro per every additional one. The design of the strap has changed a couple of times. Some of them has adjustable strap. Some of them, I think the newer versions, has this little strap, which features the letters right here. Currently on the website, you can find all of them, but the bags with three different or four different straps. I'm not sure I will feature it on the side. Initially I was considering something like grey or peach or blush pink, but then I saw this green. This was the first time ever on the Dior website. And then I thought this is actually really neutral, despite it's such an unobvious color. It's very muted and very calm, but also very original. I got a size small, which is also called My Lady Dior. I think this is the perfect size. It's not too big, for example, too big that it can't go for an evening bag, and it's not too small that it cannot go for a day bag. So it's a perfect balance, sweet spot when it comes to a size. You can wear it crossbody during the day and put lots of things in it and 
remove the strap and have it like a cute little bag that you will carry in your hand or on a crook of your arm. Don't let the size deceive you. Although it's small, it holds a lot. And I'm gonna show you what I carry in mine now. The only thing you have to be really careful with this bag, just because it's a lambskin and it has a very original opening, which is just a flap of leather. Sometimes it can be tricky to get things in and out of it. And you have to be very careful with your nails and the ring, if you have a big bulky ring or something sharp, not to scratch the bag. I am already very delicate when it comes to my bag, so it's not a big issue for me. Okay, let's start. The very first thing that I have on the top are my sunglasses. Those are in a lounging case. Funny enough, although those are Bulgari sunglasses, uh, I went to exchange my battery in my Longino watch and they gave me a sunglasses case, which is very good because I want to show you the original case from these um, glasses. It's so bulky and so big and it's also lambskin and I would never want to scratch it. Already it's scratched a little bit, so it's only for like bigger bags where you don't stuff so many things at once. Yeah, so my sunglasses, as I said, these look like that. On to the next thing. I have hand sanitizer, obviously. Everyone needs one now. In fact, I have two, because you can better be safe than sorry. One is gel and the other is foam. Just like that. Voila. Next thing, I have a sunscreen. I know I'm wearing makeup now and I obviously don't put sunscreen over my makeup but sometimes when it's really sunny and it's really sunny and hot in here now I put some sunscreen on my hands because none of us wants wrinkly hands, right? Obviously a pack of tissues, everyone needs that. A mirror to have some touch-ups during the day although I never have touch-ups really. The only thing I touch up is my lipstick. I carry a mirror in case something gets into my eye, to be honest. <laughs> I have lots of allergies. My eyes are very sensitive, so the mirror only serves this purpose because I never really touch up my makeup. Earphones, handy, this little pouch. Well, not a pouch, it's a case. Another thing is my card holder, which you probably have seen numerous of times. I really like it. It's very slim, sleek, holds one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, probably eight or I could maybe even fit more but I don't want to stretch it too much but it really fits a lot and here you can even in between cards put cash so that's all I need if I have even a smaller bag that's all I need I don't need anything more however just because the bag allows that because it's so roomy although it doesn't look so I also have a coin purse I have coins and this is where I carry cash in here to be honest I know I could probably update my coin purse into something nicer because it's not like a, a, a statement piece but this is a very sentimental for me. This is um, a pouch from amenities from the first class uh, from Etihad Airways so I have uh, nice memories with that therefore it will be my forever coin purse and it's I've, I've been using it for years and nothing is happening to that, no wear and tear, very good thing. Next thing is eye drops. As I said, I have very sensitive eyes, especially now with the high pollen count. My eyes are very sensitive. Anything gets to it, it's a drama. I start looking like a hamster. Those are with some medication inside. They bring ultimate utter relief. I always have those with me. A hair tie, because we all need it, especially in this hot weather. You never know when you need to put your hair up. Last but not least, I have entire mini pochette in here. So it's like a whole another bag inside the bag. I believe the micro Lady Dior that they released recently is something around this size, maybe slightly shorter. You can check it on the Dior website if you want. I carry this to have my beauty products. I just don't want to dirty the bag inside in case of some accidental spillage of the lip gloss or lipstick will get open or melt in this heat. You never know. And this, the inside of um, Louis Vuitton pouch is very durable, plus it was made for this type of thing, so that's okay. So this is where I keep all my beauty products. And what I have here, it's my favorite lipstick by Charlotte Tilbury, which is called Amazing Grace that I'm wearing now. A lip balm by Therry. 
uh, perfume is my all-time favorite Baccarat Rouge. You probably all heard about it so many times because I rave about it. In fact, recently I've attended a conference, business conference, and I've been asked again so many times about this perfume, mostly by men, but also by women. Majority of men think this is a male scent and they're just getting attracted to it because they want to buy it for themselves. <laughs> but this is a really good thing, especially worn by women. It has completely different vibe to it. And of course, at the end, Charlotte Tilbury lip liner, because even if you eat out your lipstick and you have a lip liner in place, everything still looks okay. I forgot to mention my phone. Obviously, I carry it with me everywhere I go and it fits in the handbag without a problem. I just had it here on the desk because I was reading some notes before. That is it, that this small, size small handbag fits inside. You have to admit that it's all that you need on a daily basis and probably more than that. In winter or in a colder month or when it's not so sunny, you can skip some glasses and that gives you extra room for other things. That's all it is. And that will be it for this video. I hope you did enjoy going with me through the content of my bag and I hope you like this bag as much as I do. If you enjoy this type of content and you want to see more of my future videos and you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you in my next one. Bye.